morning everybody, Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video and it is Friday night, which means it is time for Friday Night Fights, the weekly War of the Visions auto PvP tournament. And you know what, this week, we're this, this community event, this stream, uh, all of this would not be possible without the members on YouTube and the patrons on Patreon. So quick shout out to them before we get into this. Thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel, all that, it's awesome. Now, let's talk about where we're at here. The special rules for this week is rainbow teams, which means you cannot use uh, more than one unit of the same element. So you can go like one light, one earth, one dark if you want to, but you gotta keep it mixed up. Also, there's certain units there's a certain pool of units you can only use one unit from. Like, you can't use Black Rose Helena and Elena. You can only use one of them. Now, we can see on the screen here, Capella and Maverick. This is the uh, finals of the loser's bracket. The winner of this fight goes back up to the winner's bracket for a chance to become the grand champion. But to get there, you gotta win this one. Capella showing off the Starlight Elena, so we know that's his, like, you know, big ticket unit. Meanwhile, Maverick showing off one of the other most used units in this tournament. Uh, that would be Valentine's Day Salir, but there could also be another Starlight Elena hidden in there. Notice that 3,812 magic stat there. I'm guessing there is probably a Starlight Elena or a Black Rose Helena. Those names are really close. Hide in there somewhere. Anyway, let's get into this fight. Okay, so here we go. Capella is going with an evasion team. It's Starlight Elena, it's Tifa, and it's Katone. I'm going to tell you guys, this Katone has been hard carrying in the tournament so far. We've been watching those fights. Now, what's the counter squad coming here? What's the other side? Okay, so the red team here running Starlight Elena, Garvel, and Valentine's Day Salir. That's what Mavericks bring to the table. We're going to get the TMR buff from Elena. Get that dark resist. Get that light resist. Garvel, Chi Barrier. And I bet you Valentine's Day Salir is about to do the same thing. Here it comes. Chi Barrier. So physical attacks going to be heavily neutralized by Garvel and Valentine's Day Salir. Now, not a problem for Katone. Katone's all about Drain Force, right? She's going to walk up to him, do her Drain Force thing. If she makes it that far, because Elena's got other plans. Banishing a Blade comes out. And this Katone that had been hard carrying to this point, not going to be hard carrying this fight. She's deleted. Garvel steps forward. Tifa doesn't have the range yet, so she's going to go with Inherited Tyranny. Now, Tifa does have a Courage buff, so if she dies, she's still going to be able to hang on. Same thing here with Starlight Elena and Starlight Elena rocking the TMR shield there from Black Rose Helena's TMR. Here's Detonation Blast onto the Tifa, a 100% hit attack, and it 100% killed her, but the Courage procced. Okay, Garvel's turn. He also has Detonation Blast, and they're grouped. That means Tifa's dead, and that means Starlight Elena is in a real bad time. Um, Maverick gonna pop the Courage buff, and this is probably the end. There was a lot of build-up to this fight, and the 100% hit attacks, 100%, you know, wrecked that evasion team. GG Garvel and Valentine's Day Salir, and we're going on to the Grand Finals. Okay, Grand Finals, Retro Cause versus Magic. Now, this is actually a rematch of the Winner's Bracket semifinal. So these two have faced off once before. Retro got the better of that matchup. But again, it's like it, there's such a speed element to this because you can see Retro is also running an evasion type team right here, right? He's got Katone, he's got Titus. Titus has access to that evasion buff. But if your evasion units run into the 100% accuracy units, they'll get annihilated. But if they can get their attacks off, they might overpower them first. We'll see how this pays off. Uh, Koryu gifting five subs to the community during this grand final. Thank you very much, Koryu, for those gifted subs. And welcome to the Church of Eileen, everybody who just got gifted. Now, back to the battle. And enjoy that wow over and over again. Okay, Maverick getting his shields online. Here's Limiter off for Valentine's Day Salir. Gives her a little more range, a little more agility. Guardian's Fighting Spirit. That spirit buff could be really clutch in this fight. Katone's up. 81 AP. She can do whatever she wants. She's been leaning on the Drain Force, and there it is again. 29-27. 
And then there's a, oh, Drainy Vocation d an annihilates that Garvel. That's what I'm talking about right there. If the Evasion team gets to go first, that kind of thing can happen. If the Evasion team doesn't go first, what you just saw can happen, and here comes the return attack. It's going to be the Limit Break from Elena, seeing if she can turn this fight around. It's a three-hit attack, so they'll have to dodge all of them to live. That did not happen. So, Maverick picks up the double kill. It's Katone versus two. Drain Force onto the Salir. She's dead. It's a 1v1. Retro's Katone can win the tournament, or Maverick's Elena can keep her alive. It's not a kill. The Banishing of Blade does not pick up the kill. Katone, it's your turn. She's going to look for the Drain Force. Yeah, it must be the only move she has on. It gets dodged. The evasion unit gets evaded, and now Maverick can look for the kill. Banish Blade, that's it. GG. Maverick picks up the win, but that's not enough. Retro, hanging out in the winner's bracket, has to be beaten twice to be dethroned. We're going to the grand ultimate final finals. It's, it's coming next. Okay, here it is. The rematch of the rematch. Winner take all right here. Were there any changes made? Well, the side of the map the people are playing on changed. We got Maverick on the left side. We got Retro on the right side this time. It looks like the same units are coming out. You are allowed to um, you know, tweak your roster in between matches, just not in the lobby itself. So let's see if the buffs come through better for Retro this time. Remember, at this point, this is the third time these teams have matched up. Both squads have a win under their belt, so anything is possible right here, right? Titus going to look for a haste buff right here. Hastiga, a very OP move. AoE haste is broken. Now, Maverick going to get those courage buffs online. His Elena can now die more than one time. That's pretty useful. Garvel goes with bells. So Garvel definitely not running out of AP in this fight. Elena for retro. Probably not in range yet. Going to put evasion and AP cost down. Really leading in to the RNG factor here. Uh, the Garvel and the Salir are going to be maybe a problem. There's Wish for Peace, Luck up. So really leaning into the Evade with that Luck buff. Okay, Drain Force onto the Salir, 2896. Now it's Elena's turn. She's going with the Limit Break, and she's going to find two people with it here. This is going to hit Salir, and it's going to hit the enemy Elena. Big Chain Attack, what do we got? Salir's dead, I imagine. Yes, Salir drops, but Elena lives. It's a 2v3 for right now. What can Titus do about that? Taunting Blade. That's a kill, but the Courage buff procs. And now the counter attack. Here's Maverick on the counter, busting out his um, Elena's limit break. Multi-hit attack. Big damage unless a bunch of it's dodged. All of it got dodged by Maverick's Elena. That's huge. Now Garvel though, looking for the detonation blast. There's the Courage proc. It's a 2v2 for now. Katone's turn. Katone slaps Elena down. It's Garvel v two. Elena walks up to Garvel. Lux overflow. He's a dark element unit. She's a light element unit. She's a double cost unit. He's level 99. You can see where this story is going. G G. Congratulations to, uh, that was retro cause picking up the win there, getting the, you know, winning the most prestigious event probably in the world. Like there's that league of legends world championships. And then there's war of the visions Friday night fights. I think we all know which one of those things is a bigger event, and I think we all know that's why Retro is probably the best esports player in the world tonight. GG. Uh, thank you for showing up, everybody, and thank you to everybody who watches this video. Uh, reminder, if you want to participate in Friday Night Fights, join my Discord. The link is in the description. It's a different tournament every single Friday night, different rule sets, all of that stuff. We have a lot of fun. Um, usually the rules are pretty welcoming to newer players as well, so don't feel intimidated. It's all for fun. Show up, have a good time, and I hope to see you there. Peace out, everybody.